In this video, I'm going to be doing my best to transform six different food emojis into horror versions. Now, food isn't something you normally associate with horror. Especially, not these cute little food emojis. I mean, look, it's even got a little smiley face. That's not scary at all. If anything, in this equation, we're the horror monster. We're the ones eating the food, right? But I'm going to flip that script and transform food that we would eat into food that would eat us. So each emoji, I'm getting inspiration from a different horror series, maybe a video game, or you'll see. Just keep watching and see if you can guess the inspiration behind each emoji. There's some real fun ones coming up, so grab a snack, sit back, and enjoy. If you'd like to see me transform other emojis, maybe drop a comment down below with the emoji you'd like me to transform. And in a future video, maybe I will. Also, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future uploads. This horror transformation of a non-disclosed brand of french fries, definitely not McDonald's, is based off the indie horror game Choo Choo Charles. You can run, but you can't fried. <laughs> oh my god, that was bad. You can't just have fries without a burger. So we're gonna fix that, and I'm gonna transform the burger emoji. The first half will be a deliciously succulent burger. Soft buns, a single slice of juicy tomato, or tomato if you're American, on top of melted cheese that's oozing over 100% Angus beef that's perched on top of some of the saddest lettuce you've ever seen. And maybe there's even a hidden pickle in there somewhere. Mmm. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> This hamburger horror transformation is based off Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, hear me out. Here's my billion dollar idea. Wait for it. A takeaway food chain based off Five Nights at Freddy's. Come on, as if that idea wouldn't print money. Minus the bloodthirsty animatronics. AI technology is developing every day. I'm sure they could make some animatronics that deliver your meals. Hopefully they won't go rogue and try and eat the customers. But hey, baby steps. Before things get too unhealthy, I'm gonna change gears and draw some fruit. The apple emoji.
They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but not this one. This transformation is based off salad fingers. And if you want to get rotten teeth like salad fingers, be sure to eat lots of apples and brush your teeth with a rusty spoon. Back on to the unhealthy food, I'm going to channel my inner Italian and draw a slasher pizza. I mean, slice of pizza. Definitely not foreshadowing what's to come. Forget I said anything. Is it just a burnt piece of pizza? Or is there a plot twist and it's actually inspired by Ghostface? From the iconic slasher franchise, Scream. Who wants a slice? Wow, that was getting kind of dark. It's time for something a bit more wholesome. And what's more wholesome than a homemade pie? Is it an apple pie? A meat pie? A cream? Don't say it. <laughs> Moving right along. This gruesome transformation is based off Leatherface from the iconic horror movie Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I think this pie is made out of meat. The last food emoji I'll be drawing for this video is a slice of cheese. Like I said earlier, if there are any other emojis you'd like to see me transform, they don't have to be food related, could be anything, <laughs> let me know in the comments down below and maybe I'll do this again in a future video. I'm not doing a Swiss cheese transformation without including some trypophobia holes, so if you're not into that, it might be a good time to click off the video. But for everyone else, Enjoy.
This little cheese monster isn't really based off any character. I thought I'd do my own thing for the last transformation. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future content from me. And as always, a massive thank you to all of my amazing patrons for supporting the channel and enabling me to do creepy horror art like this. It's much appreciated, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.